Bind me, gag me, take me to the bunny ranch. People dying, kill me in the back. Yeah, the Devon Sow of Culkins, yes. Uh, um, so yes, welcome to uh, Saved by the Max. Uh, we're going to be doing a, a little uh, podcast here uh, uh, called the Bunny Ears Podcast. Uh, yeah, there we go. I got one. A, a whole, a whole couple of you. Uh, so I'm going to bring some people up right now. Um, uh, right now, uh, uh, it's uh, Bunny Ears writer and editor and all around just great gal. It's uh, Miss Toria Sheffield. Come on up. Yeah. We need some estrogen on this panel. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, and also, uh, our, one of our favorites, uh, an old classic, it's Mr. Stuart P. Miller from Columbus, Ohio. Yeah. And then uh, also, someone who's also, uh, you might be familiar with if you listen to the podcast, it's Mr. Sean De Pasquale. Yes. Yes. Uh, he is, yes, he is the uh, most Jewish person with an Italian name I've ever known. They it's well, true. They, yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah, let me put my little little microphone thing here. This is gonna... like. All right. Whoa. I... <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Okay. We're fine. <clears throat> oh yeah. Uh, we're, are we doing we're good. Okay? We're off to a great start. You guys, you guys doing great? Recording. I know. Forty-five minutes of wrestling the microphones and a <laughs> ten-minute show. There you go. There you go. Oh, to bunny okay. ears. To bunny ears. Bunny ears. Time out. All right, guys. I can't believe it. Here we are, Saved by the Max, doing the Bunny Ears podcast. I never thought this would happen in my whole life. Here amongst friends and new friends alike. Well, you know what? Let's just get to this. Time in. Okay. Yay! Yeah. Woohoo! All right. Woo! Okay, we're off to a fucking great start. I'm already drunk. Yeah. <laughs> Let's Let's took yeah. one. One sip. <laughs> So uh, I guess to our listeners, because you guys all like can see where we are, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> they know where we are. Yeah, you, yeah. yeah obviously. Uh, but yeah, Save by the Max is a Save by the Bell themed uh, restaurant. Yep. Yep. Yeah, uh, yeah, out here in uh, Los Angeles. It looks like mm-hmm. the Max. Yeah, and, and a little bit of the uh, high school. A little bit of the high school. And you got building's mm-hmm. office over there. Yep, and a bedroom. Yes, it's exactly. also Zach's exactly. bedroom. Exactly. bedroom. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So uh, uh, if this sounds interesting to any of the listeners that are listening to this at this point uh, on the podcast, um, you're too late. Place, yeah. <laughs> place is closed. Already closed. It's closed so, down. Literally yeah. it closes. By the time this is out, yeah. It's yeah. already closed. Yeah. So, <laughs> too late. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so you missed it. So you missed it. <laughs> but, it's, but it's fantastic. But it, but it was awesome. You shouldn't yeah, have missed it. It was really it. awesome. You should have been here. Yeah, you, you should really. <laughs> you really should have been here, guys. <laughs> These guys are all having a good time, right? Yeah. All right. All right. Should have come. Yeah, yeah. You guys should have come. See? Everyone's having a great time. It's so funny. I feel like we're on... It, it, I, I literally feel like we are in Saturday morning cartoon land. Like, that, that's when I watched Saved by the Bell. Like, well, it was a yeah, Saturday was, morning... Like, yeah, it was like... That's why it was so yeah. colorful. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> it's because they wanted it to, like, mirror our cartoon. Which, which was what we always talked about at school on Monday. Like, what happened? What, who, did, who did Zach kiss? On? I liked Saved by the Bell, but it also marked the end of cartoons, so part of me um, always hated it. Yeah, Because <laughs> sure. it was like, oh, we're in live action time now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> time for some adult programming. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay, people are going to kiss or whatever. It's like, eek, the cat wasn't on anymore. Yeah. <laughs> no more Freakazoid. No more Freakazoid. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. No more Wish Kid. Yeah, right? Am I right? Also, is it true? Or like one person? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I got one. Got one. Got wish one. Kid. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Is it true that they really mo- made Saved by the Bell super bright to model cartoons? Yes. I did not know that. Yeah. How, yeah. how do you know that? Because I here's the thing. <laughs> yes, here's the thing about Saved by the Bell is that I was actually really embarrassed about liking it when I was a kid, so I never talked about it. I kind of like secretly watched it. Okay. And then all of a sudden I watched the E True Hollywood story about it, and I was like, oh, it's okay. Quentin Tarantino likes it too. <laughs> yeah. He's all over that. It's amazing. Uh, um, and so yeah, no. Then I then I started kind of learning more about the history, and yeah, I, I know <laughs> the, I know it backwards and forwards. Story history. Yeah, I, 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 I've been here more, again, before. I sat right where you're sitting, young lady. Yes. I had a burger. I'd love to see a Quentin Tarantino adaptation of Saved by the Bell. Yeah, me too. Uh, Why? That, what? Because what would that Why? look like? That, <laughs> yeah, 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 lots of, yeah, Kelly Kapowski's feet yeah. a lot. Yeah. He's got one movie left. Yeah. He only said he's doing ten. He's got one left. Got you one want him left. to waste it on Saved by the Bell? Yeah, it's very much so. Sit down, preppy. <laughs> you know, <can> you? Like, <laughs> what? I can't believe you said that would be a waste. It would yeah. be a how waste. Da- how dare you? <laughs> hey, Max, how's it going? What's your problem, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> 
That would be a waste of everyone's time and money. Um, well, I don't know. We were, lives. we were talking about this a little before we got out here. If you listen to the podcast, then you probably know Max number one crush of yeah. childhood is it was Kelly, Kelly Kapowski. Kapowski. Oh yeah, no, we, we Which, did a list of like favorite pizza uh, toppings, and well, I was like Kelly Kapowski. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll have her on my pizza any day. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, and, uh, yeah. I find this very triggering <laughs> um, because I, I'm like, of course, of course, everybody likes Kelly Kapalsi. Nobody likes Jesse. Nobody likes Lisa. I, my favorite was Jesse. Why? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, no, I mean, she was cute. There you go. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Jesse, going no too. Yeah, there you go. How many Lisa fans? There we go. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, Tori. Yeah, I was about to say, what Tori. about Tori? Yeah, there yes. you go. Yeah. Okay, I'm just... How about Violet? Okay, you lost <laughs> me. Oh, shit. <laughs> he's going deep, dude. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Going was so Violet? Deep. He's going Tori spelling like deep. Deep cuts. Yeah. Wait, was Violet the summer girl? No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, shit, the audience Sorry. just turned on you. <laughs> we apologize for Toria in advance. They fucking hate Toria now. Guys, I'm flipping every single one of them off. <laughs> home. I'm walking right out of here. Um, but who's Violet? Violet it was Tori Spelling. Tori she Spelling. Was, she, she was, was dating Screech. Screech. Oh, okay. Always called him Samuel. Okay, Samuel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then the summer girl... Thank you. Yeah. The best season by far was yeah. the summer season. And she, but she was played by Leah Remini, right? Yeah, yeah. Remini. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Come Pre Scientology. No, no. I think she was already in. She was. She was in it. I think she was yeah, in already. Yeah. I wouldn't have known. Yeah. Sean, that's because you didn't read her book. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You should, should read more Lisa Remini. You the caught me. Tell all. Yeah, I Leah. <laughs> Okay, but I, yeah, I just had to, I had to bring that up because it's always bothered well, me. Well, I, I always looked at Elizabeth Berkley um, in Showgirls. Uh, she yeah, great. yeah. yeah. That's, that's 90s. That is when I got into, yeah, yeah that's, awesome. that's, that's, that's when I got that's into when, her also. That's when I got Girls. into Jesse Spano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Any given yeah. Sunday. Yeah. Sunday was like, oh, that's Jesse? Oh. <laughs> yeah. And then I went back and rewatched Saved by the Bell. Still <laughs> wasn't into Jesse. Totally, 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 totally different. Thing. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Still a Kelly. Totally, totally different show. Do you guys remember when Zach delivered Mrs. Belding's baby in an elevator? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, because it was an earthquake and Tori hadn't experienced one yeah, of those. Yeah. That was her and first time. She was afraid of, uh, she had claustrophobia too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you guys think that a real high school boy could do that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm like, you give me no towels, I still sure. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I could totally do it. You know what? I feel yeah. like yeah. giving yeah. birth is just a thing that happens. So, like, <laughs> you'd figure it out, wouldn't you? Okay, well, you, but you I, just hold their hand and say, push. Yeah, I'm push. Gonna, push. I'm going to blow your mind. Just putting it out there, guys. If you have the power of timeout. Yeah. Wouldn't you use it in certain, in that situation? Oh yeah, good uh, point. Yeah. We just escape the elevator. <laughs> I mean, I and guess, time I guess in I'd, and crawl, then I'd crawl out of the elevator and I'd probably like time in, and they'd be like, "Where's Zach?" But then he'd be like, "I'm up here and I got help." And <laughs> He's then, like drag, like does a, he a frozen keep, doctor. Does he keep <laughs> aging even though everything else is frozen? Like, could he does do it? it? Is it is time still moving but slower? <laughs> Or could he just, in, like, can he just pause time no, and I live out the rest of his life and then unpause it and freak everyone out and be old in class? And like, <laughs> that would be incredible. He just, like, mm. hurts his, like, tongue so he can't tell his hands so he can't time back in. <laughs> yeah, so he's what, just forever frozen in what time. What if he timed out, tripped, broke his arms? <laughs> yeah, broke his arms, bit his tongue. <laughs> and then just watched the world just slowly in incremental <laughs> seconds, just milliseconds. Lived, just living forever that way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Wasn't that a Twilight Zone episode? I think it kind of is, okay. actually. Yeah. Well, you're not well, wrong. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry to bring you guys back, but like, so I'm doing a super '90s thing uh-huh. this weekend. I'm going. Anyone is going back is going back to the beach, and we're going to that concert. What? You are sweet. One of the other the one. Well, I'll see you there. Yeah, you're <laughs> it'll just be us. So it'll be both of you. It's just be, yeah, basically. <laughs> so it's back to the beach. Is a it's a basically it's like a '90s ska punk concert that they're throwing down in Huntington Beach, I think. Something someplace. Oh, I'm gonna have to miss far. it. <laughs> Can you edit out it's the sound of vomiting? Re- <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna be Goldfinger, Blink 182, Real Big Fish. Okay. Save Ferris. Like, mm-hmm. uh, what? No? Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. He's wearing a real big fish Hawaiian shirt right now, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> it's, like a 90s, it's like a 90s night. I wore my Home Alone hat. Yeah. I which, know. by the way, will you sign that? <laughs> Do it in black yeah, ink. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Did, did anyone have a pen? 
Uh, never mind. Never mind. I'll do it later. I'll do it later. I'll do it later. If I get it signed, I'll auction it off well, right now. It's it's also uh, it's also hilarious because uh, you know, Stu, you you came as uh, you came as Slater, uh-huh. and then Sean and I were just arguing about who was going to be a Screech, so we just both dressed like Screech. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a sharpie. Uh, now you have to sign it. I gotta sign yeah, it. Sign yeah, it no, there. Do it on the black part. Do it on the yeah, black. Yeah, part. do black on black. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna sign this. Here, you guys vamp. I want to go for doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly, everyone, bring your shit up. There we go. Yeah, whoever, yeah. whoever laughs the loudest. Who's got the highest bit? Yeah. Go. <laughs> Starts at a thousand. Yeah. No, I'm keeping this. Keeping yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? Free, yeah, free merch. That? Free merch. Yeah. Oh, thank you, sir. Uh, yeah, so I'm really excited because I... You're I a huge like ska fan. I'm a big ska fan, and I feel like one of these days it's going to come back. <laughs> Any day now. Yeah, what, was it ever coming. Here? We're in like the sixth or seventh wave of ska, and any moment now it's gonna like. <laughs> really? Just, Have there been that many waves? <laughs> no, it's like the fourth wave. Oh, uh, okay. But, <laughs> but also, yeah, it's kind of like way beyond the fourth wave because I feel like that was when I was in college, which was a long time ago. So almost, almost at the night. Yeah, yeah, yeah almost almost was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Stu, you piece of shit. <laughs> Son of a bitch, Stu. <laughs> yes, Stu. I mean, I'm just as old as you are. I don't yeah. mind it. Yeah. We were talking about that, too, before we came out, because the, the three of us were like, oh, yeah, 90s. Let's talk about all the shows. And we we're, like, listing stuff off. And then Tori goes, I, I'm a... Yeah, I was born, like, way later than you guys. So yeah. Yeah. She's like, I watched a lot of that shit in reruns. Does that count? But well, you... But here's the thing, and this is my theory... So we're, we're, they're six years older than me, which is not a lot in adult years, but it's, it's like dog years. It's a lot in kid years. Yeah, it's though. like <laughs> dog years or like kid years. Like you're, yeah. like, a, you're like 30 years older than me at this, when we were kids. Yes. Right? Yes. So like there's going to be a lot of things. I mean, we weren't literally 30 years older than you. We were but 10 years like, older than you. It's like you 20, know, six something. and 12. No, I liked six. We'll go with six. You said six. Yeah, yeah. We were six years older than you. Yeah, I think you guys are six years older than me. I yeah, think, let's go with that. I think Stu thinks That'll I'm younger work. than I am, and I'll let him believe Stu it. Stu does think you're younger he than you are. He fresh yeah. 19. Yeah, he thinks you're like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. gee willikers. Yeah. I've never but been to this big city before, I Mr. Stu. in the 90s, I mean infant. That's what I'm thinking of you. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, there, she yeah. wasn't an yeah, infant why, in why the 90s, dude. <laughs> why do you keep thinking that? <laughs> she was like 10 by 1998. That's gross. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. I, I look, I look great. Enough. For the listeners at home, I look great. Um, <laughs> you look fantastic. Yes. Yeah, but um, there's real. definitely things that we're not going to intersect on. Like, did you guys watch, like, Clarissa Explains It All? Yes. 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 Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. I watched Clarissa okay. Explains It All. What? Yes. Well, yes, of course. First of all, I that, mean. That was, a, that was a part of Snick, the, the, the opening night of Snick. <laughs> okay, Snick. Yep. Are You Afraid of the Dark? Yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. But were, were, were you too young for Ren and Stimpy? No. I, or too much of a girl for Ren and Stimpy? I will oh. tell you this. Like a real girl about it. Oh. Sean Did canceled. you watch it? I didn't enjoy Ren and Stimpy, but it was on. I loved Rock with Modern Life. It was Love way that. existential. Everyone likes Rock with Modern Life. That's yeah. also a great show. Yeah. Why didn't you like Ren and Stimpy? This is, it's I, very, I, it's, I hate it's to say it because it's going to sound stereotypical. It kind of was gross to me. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of gross. But I like a lot of gross stuff. You do. That That's would, why I'm surprised. Yeah, that I do. Now, I especially. Didn't, I didn't watch Beavis and Butthead either, but I was a little too young for Beavis and Butthead. Okay. Boo. No. So I was like, no. I was too young. I was too young. Get her off the stage. I, I, I came during the South Park wave. Yeah. I was oh, a little yeah. soft on Doug. I never oh, really I lo- hated that. I kind of was a little soft on it. Oh, yeah. Did, yeah. Did, did I don't think Any Doug fans out there? People. People love dog. Yeah. We're the we're the we're the we're the, we're the okay. So one person over here was like, yes, yes, okay, finally <laughs> dog <laughs> validation. <laughs> I never thought that they weren't gonna do it, but then they did it. <laughs> and I feel like Rugrats. I was just about to say, yes, that. Rugrats <laughs> all day. <laughs> yeah. All okay. real monsters. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Which was a which was not. I feel like not as popular, but was twice as good as any of those other cl- shows. Yeah, it was better than Doug. It was better than Doug. Yeah, face Doug fans. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well here's one. I f- I'll be surprised if you guys watched uh, the was it the Secret Files or the Mystery f- the Secret Files of Shelby Woo? Yeah. See, so that was after my time. Yeah. I have no idea what yeah, you're I don't know what about. that is. Yeah. Oh, you see, this is, I'm telling you, there was going to be places where we weren't going to intersect. Is that, that the '90s though? 
Absolutely. Yeah. It was like Alex Mack. I never really watched that. Yeah, The Secret World of Alex Mack. Alex Mack. Yes. It was also beyond my time. Secret World of Alex Mack was kind of what Saved by the Bell was to you. Like, that was my secret, like, I liked watching You watched that show? Of course. He loved that show. I had a younger brother, so, like, I was watching some of the- And two younger sisters never saw that show. It was a great show. It was sci-fi for kids. Like, it was- Yeah. Yeah. What was it it about? So, the premise is Alex Mack. They they say it, I think, in the, like, theme song of every episode. I can't yeah, remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sing it, I please. I don't remember, but basically she's like walking home one evening and literally... Put it to a tune at least. <laughs> she was walking home one day, got hit by some toxic waste. I'll just, I can't sing, so I'm just kind of... It's, it's like Daredevil. It's, it's like just, Daredevil. You know, it's I'm like I'm thing. Origin story. So gonna, she was blind. <laughs> <laughs> she, you know what? It's surprising she didn't become blind because what happens to her is a vat of toxic waste bills on her like like basically like a truck, or a tr- the toxic avenger yeah like a tr- yeah, yeah. shout out to the toxic no, avenger like for a talking truck, about a truck spills and she gets coated in toxic goo and she walks home and she basically realizes like she, she walks home. Home. she's like this is inconvenient and burning <laughs> <laughs> oh what's that flesh <laughs> anyway no, but her she realizes she can literally like melt into a gelatinous like sort of metallic blob Go anywhere, it's very T1000 yeah, go over. anywhere she wants. It very much was. Very good call. And then she could rematerialize. And I think she could also, like, move things of course. telekinetically now. That works. And so she had a secret life. She had her best friend. She had an older sister that was kind of a drag, but whatever. And, like, <laughs> uh, but it was, it was a very, it was, you know, kids who, it was kind of an early introduction to sci-fi. Mac, what terrible TV shows did you watch? <laughs> <laughs> As a kid. Also flipping off Sean. Re- <laughs> yeah, yeah, just, <laughs> always flipping yeah. you off with his eye, with their eyes. Um, well, I guess, like, again, I think it was like Saved by the Bell was definitely like my secret kind of one. I watched a little bit of the first season of Power Rangers. But oh, yeah. It, okay. yeah. 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 Same. Yeah, I was a little old for it. Like, Power I was like Rangers. 13, 14. Same. So I, I was still dipped, into it. I dipped my toe in that water. It was water. so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched. They had giant robots, and then the robots combined into a bigger, it was like Voltron, Voltron. live action. It was the closest we were ever going to get yeah. at that time. Now we'll probably get like a Who was your CGI? favorite ranger? Mm. Green. Whoa, he's Tommy. my least favorite yeah. ranger. What? Green. How? He becomes the white, Jason? Yes, no, Jason. Wait, Tommy. Jason's red. Tommy. Tommy. Jason's, Tommy. Red. Tommy. Jason's red and he you're sucks. Right, right. Yeah. No, Jason's, Jason's the best male ranger. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we are okay. so different. Jason's the best male ranger. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I was a Jason guy. And Captain America is the best Avenger. <laughs> That's not what I said. No? Who's the best Avenger? <laughs> Go. Best Avenger. Vision. Who said that? Who said it? Yes, Thor is the best Avenger. Oh, you're right. Thor is the best Avenger. <laughs> I know. He's so handsome. But that's because Chris Hemsworth is like the best of that bunch. It's not even Thor. Sure. It's, Chris Hemsworth. it's also just, <laughs> just Chris Hemsworth. Okay, He's sure. your favorite Avenger. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Thor Ragnarok, easily best. My favorite of all the Avenger movies. But now we're not even in the 90s anymore. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're, we're talking we're, about we're, Avengers yeah, and it's so, good. What, what was your favorite Ranger? Uh, yellow. Yeah. Trini. Yeah, you like Trini. Trini? We already talked about how depressing this is before. We I know. Got Thuy Tran. <laughs> rest in peace. She, she died. Yeah. She yeah. Died. <laughs> I depressed what? her backstage. Yeah. She <laughs> died. Yeah. I was like, oh, sorry, Sean. I was like, oh. The Yellow Ranger's dead? Yeah. Like in real life? Yeah. Moment of silence. Well, you know. I know. No, in the show, she died. They Moment of off silence. The Yellow um, oh, but sorry. again, this goes back to my weird psychology of like when everybody always really liked one girl, I always liked the other girl. God, ooh, the AC turned off. It's got a little quieter. But everyone wants to be the pink ranger when I was growing up so I like I rooted for the you're contrarian <laughs> yeah, yeah I was just gonna say so you were a contrarian no that's not what I said <laughs> <laughs> um, no so I really liked you like training mm-hmm. and then uh, Jason the Red Ranger was the handsomest <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it took them like I don't know how many permutations of that show there were till they got to the modern day crappy reboot movie that they made oh, yeah, but yeah. it took them that many versions to not have all of the colors somehow correspond to something insulting or stereotypical. (laughs) It took them all that time to go like, maybe the pink one shouldn't be the girl? Or or, or maybe the black ranger shouldn't be a black man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. (laughs) It took them years. Like, we're talking like, Dino Rangers, whatever the fuck Rangers, Space Rangers, yep. Rescue Rangers. Yep. They went through all of them. Remember when they were chipmunks? That was a great show. Rescue Rangers. Well, it, the, uh, my favorite part of growing up was the Disney Afternoon. D- Disney Afternoon? Yeah. yeah. Anyone? Yeah. 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 Like Darkwing Duck. DuckTales, Darkwing Duck, Rescue yeah. Rangers, Tailspin. Mm-hmm. Tailspin, uh, I loved, yeah. Tailspin. Oh, Tailspin. Yep. And then. Uh, what was your favorite Marsupilami? Marsupilami? 
I Marsupalani. Yeah, I have no idea yep. what you're talking about. I have no idea what you're talking about. He had a long tail. He was. It was part of the. Was he a marsupial? Yeah, probably. Uh, ish. Uh, okay. uh, why are you, you guys remember this and we don't remember? Sorry, yeah. I keep. I keep I know you no, 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 no. I don't remember this. I have no though. idea what the hell you he's talking about. You don't remember any of Disney Afternoon? No, no. I, it, please. Marsupial. Please. <laughs> Marsupalami. It was like he was like yellow with like spots and he had a long ass tail and the Marsupalami. What did he do? What I feel like you're making this up. <laughs> Anyone Honestly, remember this? Anyone else? This and, guy and remembers. The guy in the audience. What? No, no, that was Bonkers. Thank you. Bonkers. That was Bonkers, which was, do you remember that? that I was do remember Bonkers. Post, uh, post Who Framed Roger Rabbit, mm. they were like, they must have been like, oh shit, we need like a cartoon and a cop show right the fuck now. <laughs> <laughs> we cannot Quick. afford live action. What do we do? So they were like, it's Bonkers. It's a cartoon cat and a cop who's also a cartoon but is drawn differently to look more like gritty and you were supposed I think it was genuinely supposed to trick children into being like oh yeah that's kind of like Roger Rabbit sure yeah it's a <laughs> cop it's and his animated like friend sure. yeah. and they like went on adventures mm-hmm. it was terrible and yeah. it was the beginning of the end for the Disney afternoon for I, me for me it was Tiny Toons and Animaniacs oh yeah, yeah. Those, Animaniacs those, those are the ones days. yeah they're yeah. bringing it back what? Wait, which one? Animaniacs. Oh, yeah. to Hulu. See, I, I, honestly, uh, I haven't been happy about either. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll see. It, it could be like the Power Rangers movie. Like, yeah, <laughs> it, could like, it could be. Wait, a, are you a gritty they're, reboot of, they're bringing of Animaniacs. A new version of it. They're back? bringing a new. Well, it's already streaming. But by the way, if you didn't know, Tiny Toons, uh, Animaniacs, and the Tiny Toons: How I Spent My Summer Vacation, which if you're a true Tiny Toons fan, you'll remember fondly because it was beautiful. <laughs> all available on Hulu. All streaming on Hulu. I have forced my girlfriend to sit through a lot I, of them. I was about to say, you She's guys, Sean interested. does have a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. She is. Believe it or not. Hard not interested in Tiny Toons. Yeah, and she's both smart and attractive. So, yeah. I mean, He's both smart and attractive. The universe works in mysterious ways. Yeah. <laughs> she, God bless you, Sean. She literally said to me recently, like, I love you because you're funny. And I was like, yeah, I'll take it. Sold. Yes. Fine. Go, 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 go. Yeah. yeah, there was no joke. In, no, there was no joke. Yeah. Just, I love you because you're funny. You're and so funny. Like, I'll take it. <laughs> Still? Still got it. Still got it, Sean. <laughs> and she just left. Uh, yeah, she's like, bye. <laughs> bye. Um, okay, so in terms of cartoons, I'm trying to think if there's anything I would have watched. That, that we bypassed you. No, that like would have. Would it have any marsupials in it? <laughs> <laughs> Is it a kangaroo? <laughs> it? No, I'm trying to think. I mean, I watched Power Rangers, but I was also prime generation for Power Rangers. I was also like prime generation for something like Spice Girls too. Oh, yeah. Spice Girls yeah. movie? Yeah. Spice World. I love the Spice Girls. Yeah. yeah that means- <laughs> you guys, I love the Spice Girls so much. It's not even funny. Okay, who's your favorite Spice Girl? It is a little sporty Spice. Sporty Spice? Yeah, she's you a badass. Sporty sporty badass. Yeah, she was badass. She was badass and she would fuck you up, dude. <laughs> she, would, she was like jacked. She would fucking wreck you. I have never heard someone say they like sporty Spice well, Bass. Yeah. You never me asked either. me. Yeah. I like sporty <laughs> Bass. When I was younger, I was probably into Ginger because she had the boobs. Yeah. But like when I like now I go like you know what sporty like she won it she was the best one she was like she had the most she was the most sporty she was the most sporty <laughs> she was the toughest <laughs> she was the baddest of the girls scary spice tried to be that <laughs> I love her <laughs> accent though. It's always like no. That's just that's a scary spice accent. <laughs> no. Where like, do you think she's from? She's from like Sweden. clearly from like northern what? England. It's always like I can't do it. No. It's that's not northern England. It is northern England. No. Yeah, it is. It's like it sounds like, like Fargo. No. That's a minute. Thank you. That's kind of what she sounds oh, like. Give me a beer here once, would you? Sporty spice, don't you know? <laughs> oh, oh, don't you know. Not, I'll tell you what I want. What I really, really. Oh, want. you're getting Arby's all over me. Oh. Not, not that far from what she sounds like to me. She has a different accent than the other Spice Girls. I'm not. Yeah, she does. Like she it. has a little bit more of a like a Manchester thing going Something. on there. Well, yeah. here's a story from me to see that. Are the Spice Girls here? Was that? Yeah, I think they are. <laughs> oh shit! I am Every, so ladies and gentlemen, sorry. Baby Spice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, Baby Spice was Prince Harry's favorite favorite Spice Girl. <laughs> why do you know that? Yeah, why do you? Yeah. Know? Why I don't do know. You, you know read that? too much. It was just a thing. It was a thing that you just know. One of those things. <laughs> It's, it's one of those things you just know. Well, you just absorb through osmosis. You just feel it. <laughs> yeah. no, did you guys watch? Did you watch a lot of sitcoms in the nineties? Did you watch a lot of like yeah. late night, like, like TGIF? Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, there you go. Oh. What was your favorite show on the TGIF lineup? 
Small Wonder was not that on that lineup. Was that on that lineup? I want. Nah, I don't think that was. was. I'm calling. Small Wonder was great though. Yeah, it's just a diff- it had a wrong wrong decade. Uh, Full House. Perfect Strangers. Were these nine? Was one of my favorites. But Perfect Saint Strangers wasn't that eighties? No, yeah, it was uh, still but it's into the nineties. Oh, right. uh, there was an overlap there with so, it. Balky, Balky, yeah. Oh, so God, hanging with Mr. Cooper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sister, sister. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Tia and Tamara. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Wait, yeah. actually, Sean, we should use this juncture as a plug for our podcast. Oh, we should, <laughs> Toria. Oh, it's uh, funny you bring that up. It's funny that I brought up nineties sitcoms. It's almost it. like. I meant to bring it up. <laughs> so, uh, Sean and I recently discovered that our mutual favorite show was The Nanny. Anyone love The Nanny? That's right. The Nanny. Uh, we are launching a podcast. It's coming to the Bunny Ears Network. It's called The Nanny, nanny Cast. cast. Dude, That's I right. I always do it wrong. I say The Nanny Cast and you say Nanny Cast. Okay, ready? One, one two, three. Two, three. Nanny, nanny Cast. cast. And then I go, I'm not going to be able to do it in front of all these people. You can't do it now? God damn it. Know. Anyway, we love the nanny, and we are going to go through every single episode from episode one, season one, all the way to the finale, which was, mm, if you remember, not great. We're going to deal with the pregnancy. <laughs> we're going to talk about all, we're, everything, everything. Everything. It's going to be great. How many seasons did it go? Seven. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. This is going to be a long-ass podcast. Do I have to listen to it and if it's on my network? Know, <laughs> we know the directors of different episodes. We know so and much about the nanny because then we got into a nanny hole and like we learned <laughs> a, nanny a lot more. That and sounds we, so gross. We got Which is the also <laughs> the name of my other late-night podcast, Nanny Hole. Also, different topic also, entirely. Also I talk about sexy me. grandmas. <laughs> Nanny's hole. Um, the nanny hole. We also talk about how the youngest daughter appears on Californication in the pilot. And takes her, shows her boobs. Shows her boobs. And it was very yeah, upsetting. Was I remember weird. watching weird. the California Cation pilot and going like, oh, yeah, she grew up. She, oh, oh, she grew up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Does Fran know? She what about Mr. Sheffield? <laughs> oh, okay, wait, let me try. Let me try. No. Do it. Yo, please do it. do it. She do it. does it, so do it. Okay, I will try. Mr. Sheffield. <laughs> no, did I do it? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, we'll take it. it's not we'll great. And then I can do it. Uh, I can't do it. We'll, we'll edit over that. We'll edit over Yeah, and FYI, we're not actually doing that podcast, guys. <laughs> we would never subject I don't know. Would you guys to listen to that podcast? Would you listen to the podcast? Come on. <laughs> the right. I love how not a single person raised their hand. <laughs> one guy, <laughs> one dude was like, one pervert if you was call like, the nanny hole, yeah. they don't watch it. <laughs> yeah, one guy was like, talk about holes. Talk about nanny holes. <laughs> and I'm in. <laughs> nanny All right. holes. All right, cool. So now you guys definitely have to do it. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> we're doing it. <laughs> no you're fired. Anymore. You're fired otherwise. <laughs> no, no. We're going to record an episode yeah. and we're going to put it up. <laughs> And we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. See if anyone we'll listens. Watch the world burn, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fiddle. It's the world We're going to record burn. an episode, put it up, and then fuck you all. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out. You wish. The sad thing is we really do like that show. It's but good. Anyway, we'll stop subject, subjecting everybody to what is clearly a very personal <laughs> passion. <laughs> what else? I feel like there were a lot of 90s sitcom. Like, like Family Matters was one I didn't list off before, which I absolutely yeah, yeah, love. Yeah, yeah. One of my favorite things that they did in the 90s was crossovers so yeah. like mm. when the when Urkel shot out of his backyard on a jetpack <laughs> and crashed into the step by step yard yeah and then that happened yeah yes holy shit and it was <laughs> fucking mind blowing because that had never happened on television before in my estimation and like he like flew off screen and then he crashes and you're like where did he land that was the best they could do for a crossover idea that was the best they could do <laughs> and the worst part was is then a on the rocket pack dude and then on the step by step episode it's literally like one scene he's like hey I'm here now and they're like fuck you and he's like goodbye <laughs> it's like crossover tune in <laughs> it was was it he was on Full House pro- yeah it, it was like a yes yeah, so how many shows was Urkel on a lot no they did yeah, they did like a. He went from show to show to show he on one night. They did Wait, was he was in a jetpack the entire time? No, I think only the. Yeah, he just, get, <laughs> just every just scene ends with him like anyway. I'm going. Voila! And there I am in Home Improvement now. Yeah, so, yeah, that sounds that sounds like a great pitch. <clears throat> Welcome to Meditation Minute. I'm your guide, Louis Prada, and I'm Terry Corbin. That's right, listeners. We have a special guest with us, 
My friend Terry here specializes in daily affirmation meditations that promote happiness and confidence. Today I'll be playing the role of you, the listener, as I hand the reins of our meditation over to Terry. So come along and repeat his mantras along with me. Take it away, Terry. Thank you, Lewis. Let us begin. Repeat after me. I am loved. I am loved. I am kind. I am kind. Living in this moment of peace, I am filled with gratitude. Living in this moment of peace, I am filled. Joy uh, radiates uh, from every I, pore, I, I, I every done. finger, every okay. strand of hair on my head and through my smile. You don't think things are a little long, maybe? Today, okay, okay. as with every Come day, on. I am going to face my problems head on and not cower in fear. When I said out, I mean, as I every, choose oh, to maintain Jesus, my on, positivity, man. even when naysayers and haters try to drag me down to their levels of depraved cynicism. I choose to maintain cynicism, of course, but, being oh, a toxic God, state of mind really? from which there Are is you, no return me? and no salvation. We're not even done. Only ruin and death. <sighs> no, I'm not going to do it. No. Right now, I am alive. Was that it? Oh, I could do that. Right now. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Son of a... I hope this affirmation no, meditation no, no, no. Those has are brought my you the serenity I hope this see. affirmation meditation has brought you the serenity My name see. is, my name is Louis Corbin, Prada, and this and has this been has Meditation been Minute. Meditation Namaste. Minute. Namaste. Beat you. I think that went well. Yeah, well, you're stupid. We, I also, I also remember, uh, I loved Picket Fences. Anyone watch Picket Fences? Remember that show? That it was a David E. Yeah, Kelly yeah, show yes, in the two. 90s. That's two people. So, okay, real quick. Maybe three, two and Picket a half, Fences, two and a half. whatever. They were all fucking wrong. It was a great show. You should watch it. <laughs> Picket Fences was about this small town in Illinois, and it was like, it followed like this, it was called Rome, Illinois, and it was just weird ass shit went on. It was like a precursor to how weird he went with Ally McBeal. But, like, it was still, like, strange. Like, and, and every episode followed, like, the cops in the town and the lawyers. And, like, it was kind of split half and half. But then they announced they were going to do in Picket Fences, which, by the way, was, like, light dramedy. Uh, Picket Fences X-Files crossover. And they, like, they announced it, they wrote it, and then the writer's strike hits. And so there's an episode of Picket Fences where all of the cows in town mysteriously die, and it's heavily hinted at that it's aliens, and then it never gets brought up again. <laughs> it never gets brought up again. Do they ever get new cows? No, what was supposed to happen is, is Mulder and Scully were supposed to show up in that episode to investigate, and then it was going to continue on Fox, but at the last minute, Fox was like... This, this is this, an ABC show. This show is about a small town where, like, there's cows and yeah, nobody, like, cares, nobody cares if the cows disappear. Like, you know. No, people cared. It was like yeah. a big deal. Okay. The cows died. I don't know. It, it just doesn't sound that fascinating. It was a it show was itself. A great show. Oh, all right. It had the kind of the meal. It had Tom Skerritt. If we're talking about the '90s, you can't <laughs> not mention Tom Skerritt. Oh, there you go. He, Yes, Holly, yes, Holly, Holly Mary Combs. Combs. There you go. I guess she would have been the most famous person off that show. Yeah. <laughs> oof, oof. Uh, <laughs> well, X-Files did a, mil- I know they did a Millennium crossover and a Simpsons crossover. Simpsons crossover. Simpsons. Yeah. yeah. One of my favorites. Mm-hmm. Yep. Anyone, Simpsons- anyone here ever watch The Simpsons? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's how, an easy pop. I know, I'm just kidding. That was how, an easy pop. How surprising. <laughs> Does anyone remember The Simpsons Critic crossover? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was a great episode. Yeah. Which, one? Which one? The Critic. It was the John Lovitz uh, cartoon. It was also done by uh, James L. Brooks. I never saw it. Only that. lasted one season, it's, but it's, it's sad. Two seasons. It's, two seasons? Yeah, two oh, seasons. Two seasons in a movie. Two seasons. No, uh, um, yeah, no, it was, uh, yeah, it was excellent. It, was, it, it died before its time. Okay. It was like oh. a par- It was basically, he was a movie critic. It was an excuse to constantly like, dip into movie parodies of the time. So oh, like, okay. if you watch it now, it, none of it holds up. Much oh, yeah. like Animaniacs, nothing holds up because well, it's all just like. Because all the countries are different. The well, country the countries song. are different, and like the movie references, like they're like Jurassic Park, and you're like, okay. Oh, there's a there's a Home Alone spoof in there too. There's definitely a Home Alone yeah, spoof yeah, in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yep. They actually had there were two uh, two times that the critic was on The Simpsons. There was the one that that, that he there actually was also a cameo. 
uh, it was, there, there was a cameo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was that cameo when he's in the mental institution. And he's like, it stinks, oh it stinks, it what? stinks. And he was like, yeah, Mr. Sherman, everything stinks. Oh, hold on, Stu. Oh, my God, it's Max. It's Max. <laughs> Max, Max is here. Max is here. Whoa. Whoa. Is your order. Uh, yes. You guys ready? French fries. French fries. Yeah, we'll take some French Do fries, the thing Max. from the thing. Oh, wait. Wait. Wait a sec. I didn't bring my order pad. <laughs> I brought a list of cities I want to visit. Ooh, okay. okay. Go okay. on. Okay, Max. This is going to be Costa great on the Rica. podcast. Costa Rica. <laughs> Pyongyang, North Korea. Ooh. So for the listening audience. Yangon, Myanmar. There's a man on you the wanna go? You want to go to Myanmar? Doing some kind of Max. magic trick. Could you just choose a place for me? I don't know which place I should go to. I want you to open this pad and just choose one of these. Okay. Just do it now? Just Jeez, flip oh. up and flip to any of them. Real quick. You got it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Guys, it was, it was New York City. No, I'm kidding. It's like, okay, you're it picturing away. it. Now. He can still hear you. You're picturing it. Okay, picture it. Think about it. No, no, picture No, movie. You're picturing a skyline. I see the skyline. Picture, go down into the, into the city. No, out of the apartment. Don't look at the apartment. Move out of the apartment into the city streets. You see old cobblestone, like old streets and old buildings. Is that right? Maybe. Smell, 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 smell it. Picture the smell. Oh, it's bread, <laughs> bread mixed with urine. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. He- let's okay. Let's move up. Let's move up. Move up. Think about. It. I see a skyline. I see. I see a tower looking over the skyline. Yes. Are you? Are you thinking of Paris? I'm in Paris. Oh he my did. God! That's what he did. Macaulay Culkin. Amazing. Yeah, there you go. Hey. Wow, you thanks. truly are amazing. the Max. Yeah. You wow. Are... Thanks, Max. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, shit. It's Max. It's Max. Who, who is this guy? Uh, that's an. We that's have one too many Maxes on stage. It's a Max imposter. It's a Max. I am the original Max. Good evening, I'm yeah. Alonzo. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Hello. Thanks for coming in. Hello. Where should I sit? Oh, yeah, yeah. Bring your chair. Bring your chairs. Chair. Yeah, okay. Squeeze, okay. squeeze in here. I'll Throw a stew it. off. Slit. Right here. He's contributed nothing so far. How this is awesome. Thank you so much for inviting me. Yes, they said that you wanted the real Max here, and uh, so here I am. Yeah, so thank you, Ed. I didn't know you were even a fan of Saved by the Bell. I am a huge Saved by the Bell fan. Oh, that's awesome. Especially season one. That's because that's the one that you're on. That's one of the main yeah, seasons. That's, that's, I'm on a few, couple of the others, but that's oh, yes, the one yes. where I'm on. Yeah, that's all the one the that, that's where like the max is. That's the best is. one. Every, that's every the best day one, you yeah. pull out a. a, a I sometimes of I would pull a rabbit out of my hat or whatever, and so you would be perfect. I just do this because people forget me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is so oh. fun. Doesn't this look just like the Max on the television it, it really, show? It's it unbelievable, really right? How do you feel? Have you been here before? I have. I did the grand opening here, and then the owners they had put this up in Chicago about two years ago and I went there and, and helped open it up oh, nice. and the first time I saw it I was just so blown away right but it's just every detail is perfect yep. it's just amazing it's have, so yeah, have you been to the bathrooms yeah I that, well that's how I look <laughs> excuse like me Ed. have yeah. you been to the bathroom <laughs> I have a little help with the bathroom let's go yeah. now yeah. <laughs> okay oh, this is classic dirty. stew yeah. and, always uh, trying to drag people to the bathroom wrong. always a toilet joke <laughs> uh, you still uh, do magic right I still do magic I uh, appear sometimes at the magic castle nice I've been blessed yeah right to uh, appear there. Yes. I became a member of the Magic Castle when I was 13 years old. They oh, had geez. a junior program. And you, know, you have to be 21 to really be a member. But they have a junior program. And I guess uh, at that time, there were about 20 kids in the group. And we got to study with the top professionals at that time, like Doug Henning and David Copperfield and Siegfried and Roy and on and on. Wait, Siegfried and Roy were 13? Siegfried and Roy were a little... They were, they were <laughs> the older. masters that would come and, and sort of, you know, teach us oh, uh, young awesome. guys and gals, uh, you know, the illusions and whatever and it was so fun you know Siegfried would come in and, and he would say alright I'm going to teach you some magic and you'll make a tiger appear out of nowhere and then Roy <laughs> would come up yes and if it's a very special tiger you'll make him appear under the table that's the end of the table so these guys are just they're just nutty guys yeah, yeah. they come out and, and would teach us these, these crazy things but we were so blessed to, to wait, study wait, did, the did, wait, hold on hold on, hold on. Did, were, there, were there any tigers though did, did the tiger actually show <laughs> yeah, up wait. yeah wait yeah, 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 yeah I would they all. <laughs> Actually, what did appear like, was... the tiger in your mind. <laughs> right. It was a giant tiger kitty litter box is what appeared under the table. Oh, nice. Uh, oh. Not the same. 
Yeah, not the same, but still, you yeah. know. Safer. <laughs> a little safer. Certainly yeah. safer. Yeah, I think safer. they would agree. <laughs> yes, I think they would. So, yeah, I, do, I do still perform magic, and uh, in uh, June uh, is the sixth season of Masters of Illusion on the CW Network, and I appear on those shows as doing magic. But now what I'm working on is I'm working for uh, a couple of other uh, magic people. One of them, his name is Justin Willman, and he has a show on Netflix called Magic for Humans, and I'm one of the oh, Technical advisors, nice. Creating some great, great magic, and I just raced over from that today because uh, we're starting to shoot season two. Nice, and it's going to cool. be just unbelievable. I've been some pitching that magic for for animals for a while now. I can, I can, I can <laughs> fool my cat like nobody's business. Uh, You're yeah, easy to trick. Idea. Yeah, yeah. Kind of <laughs> like, oh, where's idea. the treat? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and they're easily fooled. Yes, yes. That's the. That's, and that's the why thing. I'm so good at it. You've seen all those YouTube videos where people will have their dogs watching and they'll hold up like a. a a sheet and then drop the sheet and run through the door. You know, the dog is like, oh, where are you How the hell did you do that? <laughs> You're a miracle yep. worker. <laughs> right. Well, th- thanks for coming on the show, dude. This is so fun. Yeah, yes, it, much better than having a Max impersonator, right? Yes, I know, I know. <laughs> My <laughs> goodness. Yes. How dare he? Yeah. Whoever that person is, yeah. he's fired. <laughs> this yeah. is so fun. And, uh, did yeah. you order any Max burgers or anything? They have the best food oh, here. We're going to get some fries, yeah, I think. Yes, yeah, we want yeah. fries. Yeah. The macaroni and screech I will take is really good. Right? I recommend the macaroni and screech. All right. I will take right. a hamburger. Yeah. Is that? Are you kicking me out? Is that it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, we're going to get back to time. We're, we're going to get back to the show. I yeah. drove oh, yeah. four hours for this. <laughs> what you, wait, you, you come for four hours? Because awesome. right? you look great also. You look you look like Max. I, I, well, I am Max. I, 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 I'm, I'm it's just, so crazy. You, know, Dude, you look years just older. like the guy. I just know. like the guy. I it's am blessed crazy. somehow, maybe my Hispanic blood, that I still look. You know, <laughs> Mario Lopez and I, we still look exactly the same. It's true. Everyone else, they all look That's actually true. And decrepit. Although Mark Paul's Mark also Paul's looking really pretty good. The, yeah, he's, he's, he's a bushy beard. The beard he's and everything. The beard, actually, he does look. Yeah, yeah. they actually did a picture he's like grizzly. yesterday. Yeah, they did. They did. Yeah, it was uh, they, like uh, it was uh, it was dinner. Yeah, they yep. went to dinner. Yep. It was uh, it was okay. Mario and it was Mark Paul and it was Elizabeth Berkeley and it was uh, Tiffany Amber Thiessen. Yeah, they don't invite they, me to hang out. I with know. Those guys I know. Anymore. I know. It feels really it's sad now that I'm breaking the next to you in front of everybody. I'm just lucky to be here with you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Max. Thanks, Ed. Thank you, Ed Alonzo. That was such a pleasant surprise. You got to do a quick selfie. Yeah. Oh, right. sure. Yeah. With Stu? No. Oh, yeah, with Stu. <laughs> no, no, no. I just I I with me. Stu. Just with me. Okay. No. no, with you and I. Of no, he, just, yeah. he just wants to... <laughs> Oh, that's like that's a pretty girl you got on there. That's my, yeah. that's my daughter. Oh. She's available. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Okay. Yay. Was, oh, I mean, boo. I, the I don't know what we're booing. Got it. <laughs> that he has a daughter? I don't know. I lost the thread. Yeah, boo. Children. I will. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So podcast audience, there's a selfie being taken right now, and honestly, if you're not here, you really missed out. And <laughs> right, that was such a treat. Ed Alonzo, everybody. Honestly, it was very sweet. I didn't even know until like an hour before I got here. He was like, I'm coming. And I was like, all right, cool. Because we, yeah, we already had our own Max. <laughs> yeah. So what I love is that nobody told me that was happening. <laughs> uh, so that was just oh, a surprising for me as it was for you. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we brought the clock. We did bring the clock. And there's four the clock. of us, and I feel like we could definitely have like Play Very play. intensive round of clock blockers. Yeah, you uh, guys watch. You guys listen to the podcast. You yeah, fans yeah, of yeah, some clock blockers. Yeah. yeah. So, for those of you who are new yeah. to it, I mean, here's a standard chess clock. Boom, you turn it on. Each team gets uh, 90 seconds, um, and we pick a subject. The broader, the better. And you just name everything in that subject. So it could be like animals, and it'd be could like be 90s cheetahs, lions. Shows. You know, and then you'll be surprised how quickly. Like, I used to call it brain fart, because you see how quickly people run out of things. Um, what is something that we haven't, like, you know, like, touched on? I mean, how about uh, 90s bands? Oof. Okay. Can I do that? 90s that's, bands. That's, that's the two of you. That's okay. Not okay, 90s bands. That's yeah. not fair. Well, yeah, yeah. Can't be no, it's not fair. No, no, that's not no, fair. No, 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 no. They're going to face off against each other. Why don't we do a round, other. and then you do oh, a round, okay. and the okay. winner of each round, because I'm going to okay. get destroyed okay. in 90s yeah, so bands. Yeah, so our round's going to be slow and boring and weird, and yours will be like, cool. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, 90s bands. 90s bands. Okay, they have to have had, like, an album out in the 90s. In the 90s. But, you know, like... I just can name all ska bands. Oh, God, I know. You can, like, name bands, I'll be like, sure, that's a band, I guess. Like, never heard of them. Yeah, that's part of the game is bluffing, isn't okay. it? Okay, okay, I'll start. CNC Music Factory. 
Real big fish. Uh, no doubt. Goldfinger. Limp Bizkit. Less than Jake. <laughs> oh, um, uh, why am I being... Oh, uh, Poison. Sugar Ray. Uh, a Motley Crue. I'm going to go through the hair. 311. Uh, ACDC had an album. Sublime. Spice Girls. That's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> the Hippos. Yes, you're making that up. I I'll know prove it you to you are. later. I know I'll you prove it to you I later. I know you are. Uh, uh, two Live Crew. Uh, Eminem. De La Soul. Eminem's not a band. <laughs> too late, though. Too late. <laughs> Tribe Called Quest. Uh, oh, gosh. That's, that's a Beastie Boys. Um, uh, okay, fine. Uh, Lesson Jake. Mr. Big. <laughs> it's tied at one of Primus. Uh, extreme. <laughs> ben Folds 5. Oh, gosh, okay. I'm running out of that one. Oh, uh, we're running out of chili peppers. Uh... Dean Matthew Van. Uh, uh, Digital Underground. Max ahead by three seconds. Okay, fine. Uh, oh. Aquabats. What? I'm going back to Scott. <laughs> I drifted and I paid for it. With Wait, was, uh, was, was Slipknot from the 90s? Tied at 51. Dang it. Uh, uh, see, I, I know. Um, gosh, okay, I'm farting. Hansen. I guess Hanson, yeah, Hanson. Yeah. Counting Crows. Oh, uh, uh, oh, okay. Uh, uh, oh, uh, yeah, InSync. Crash Test Dummies. Ba- Backstreet Boys. <sighs> oh, uh... Sean has a 10-second lead. Ah, fuck shit. Cock. Balls. Mm. Memphis Copley's. Uh, 98 degrees. <laughs> Max at 31 seconds. Really, 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 uh, uh, really proud of myself uh, there. Color me bad. Oh, uh, uh, living color. Uh, Black Star. Uh, you already said you said County Crows, Black Crows. Uh, Most Def seconds left for Mac. Most Def's not a band. It's a person. It's a person. Twenty five seconds. Left. It's not a band. Okay. Uh, Max ahead now. Oh, by Six Sense on the Richer. Oh God, Most Dang it. Man. Uh, 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 hold hold on, you. Uh, don't say Pearl Jam. Nirvana. Pearl Jam. <laughs> <laughs> Max got 13 Sound, seconds. Soundgarden. Sean's at 17 seconds. Uh, garbage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Six seconds for Mac. Hush. You're making it worse, one, Stu. Three, two, one. You're making it worse. Fine. I'm out. I'm out. Ah, Here we go. Ah. I forgot about the meat puppets. <laughs> Yeah, you're fired. I know. I right. guess I'm out of here. It made me sweaty. We're not going to do music. Let's do something like, do you have a cheat sheet up? Yes, I have a cheat sheet up. That's what I've got. But yes, you, he has a cheat sheet of every possible category that we haven't named yet. But you do. <laughs> no, he has a list of 90s things no, he, he, to possibly he, talk no, about. Yeah, he was, he was looking up to speaking been, points. Way to pull the curtain back, Toria. Yeah. 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 Way to ruin it, Toria. And it's highly scripted and dumb. Ruined. Um, I was going to say we should do 90s snack foods. 90 snack foods. 90 yeah. snack foods. Oh, I like that. Okay. All right, do I it. Like that. Right, I like that. I like that. Tori gets to start because it's her category. Yeah. This is going to be tough. How do you like them apples? All right. Can we I, start? I think this is going to be really hard. Yeah, for I think both you just screwed us. yourself, but go. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Does candy count? Yes. Okay. Yes. That's Anything a snack food. Anything you can eat or drink. Okay. Anything to. Yes. <laughs> okay, uh, go. Can I just go? Go. Is it starting? Yep. Just press it when you press it. Press it. Gosh, ours. Bubble tape. Fruit by the foot. Dungaroos. Sunny D. Uh, surge. <laughs> surge. Surge. Um, tang. Purples. Um, this is like. Any, we're, moving, we're moving into beverages. This is anytime, but I think it counts like Oreos. Like a stack. Counts. Um, shit. What's a good 90s? Crystal Pepsi. For roll ups, thanks. Ring pops. Oh, yeah. Um, Crystal Pepsi. Stop it. Sorry. You're the worst. Oh, I'm so bad at this, and I knew I'd be they so bad at this, guys. do it, though. I know. Oh, oh, um, <laughs> fuck. Um, chicklets. Uh, Lunchables. Um, ooh, I wish we could go, like, deep dive into different kinds of Lunchables, but we can't, right? No. Fuck. No, that's bullshit. Yeah. That's You're bullshit. losing. <laughs> I know. I knew. This I was, was your lose. category. I knew, but I knew I'd lose regardless. Uh, I already said gushers. Fru- oh, I said I said fruit by the crystal foot. Pepsi. No, no. What was the um, thing that you could like the string on a that you would pull? Etch a sketch. No, it was like a <laughs> it was like a fruit snack. You guys know. Silly putty. No, shut up. You're like, making it you worse. You guys know it was like it was like a co- bubble string. tape. <laughs> crystal Pepsi. String, <laughs> string cheese. 
Mentos. Vanilla Coke. Fresh maker. Uh, Zima. I mean, I've got a minute, so hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this yeah. is a classic tortoise oh. in the hair scenario. Oh, yeah. This is great for radio. <laughs> Uh, yeah, somebody filled Talk amongst dead yourselves. Air. So Mac, we're yeah. so bad at this. I and mean, we knew we'd be the bad ones. Mac, remember when our game was awesome? Yeah, right. And it had like pace. Oh, yeah. Starburst. I was asking about Slipknot. <laughs> I, I named Starburst. Oh. I, I, I named that. That was early. That was early. Capri Sun. Nice. Okay. I still drink those. Kool-Aid. I bring them to meetings. Um, squeeze it. Tang. I already oh, said, said tang. Oh, already said what happens when I already say it? I already said that too. Back. Oh. Uh, already said that too. Uh, I'm telling you, this game is crazy. the foot. Ring pops. I already, already said, said that. It. They already said it. Everyone stopped yelling ring pops. They said it. It's done. <laughs> ring pops is over. No more ring pops. <laughs> yes. And that's oh, game. Shit. Oh. Stuart wins. Zima. Lowest what? round of this game. What about ever Zima? Played. That counts. Yeah, Zima would be a snack food. <laughs> yeah. All right. Ecto cooler. Ecto cooler. Ecto cooler is a good one. Guys, I can I just say it's fair that Stu won because my friend was feeding me answers over there. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I was like, more, more. <laughs> it's it's terrible. terrible. She's a terrible <laughs> answer feeder because you lost <laughs> <laughs> by forty-five seconds yeah, too. Yeah, that was two brains that worked. It, it, it would be great if she had like a dry erase board and just kept on <laughs> just lifting things up. Or like baseball language. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Man, we didn't even get into like snap bracelets. Yeah, pops. you guys have snap bracelets. Yeah, we didn't get into a, a lot little of bit. Them. Do you? Did your school ban them? Did anyone else's school ban oh. snap bracelets? Yeah, okay, you know, seeing some hands our there. Our school banned. Uh, well, they could pogs. take out an eye. Our school banned snap bracelets, pogs, tamagotchis, and magic cards. Whoa. What? Okay, what was yeah. going on that they banned slap bracelets? People were slapping each other. But <laughs> that was the point of the bracelet. <laughs> but, but were they like in a like? Was it like neck slap? If I was like, I bring my like. Um, I was like, yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> if, 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 you I, my child, dicks. I don't want my child getting hit by other children. Like, oh, yeah. I mean, that's what childhood was. <laughs> Only for me. Touche. Yeah, I know. I, yeah, but, you didn't always get hit all the time, every day. <laughs> No, I was like, if I was bringing like my throwing stars to school, like yeah, that's the point of them. Yeah, but, but you don't bring them to school. Yeah, but that's like a, there's a big difference like, between throwing stars weapon. and slap. Yeah, bracelets. it's like yeah. I understand why they don't like guns in school. I'm asking about slap so bracelets. So wait a second, you guys probably missed the virtual pet craze. Actually, I no, had, I had a tamagotchi. I had a tamagotchi. I thought it was stupid. I let I let it die. <laughs> I know. Not, I thought it was stupid too. I was a little too old for it. Yeah. I was not too old for it. I was. Mine's perfect. still alive. <laughs> it's still kicking. <laughs> oh shit! Actually, <laughs> forgot to feed it this morning. What if I like ran and I was like, I gotta do it? No, he hasn't pooped. <laughs> Thirty years. Yeah, twenty, or 20 years this. down the drain. <laughs> yeah, no, you For know, one podcast. I was just saying we didn't get into a lot of stuff. We didn't get into like Game Boys. We didn't really get into foods, even though we just did a second ago. Mood rings. What about Mood um? Rings. What about um? Uh, Pokemon. Shit, we can still keep I talking. I mean, what? We, these these people are tired of us. I, <laughs> <laughs> They've grown tired. tired of you, Tori. I'm tired never, of you. So I, I have a confession. I never had a Game Boy growing what? up. Oh, uh, boo. Was not a lot, I was never bought a Game I had, like, a Nintendo. Wow. I had a Super Nintendo. Like, when, it, when I was like, can I have a Game Boy? It was like, no, you have enough things. And I was like, yeah, but this one goes mobily. And they were like... Yeah, no, you're good. You still have enough things. That was it. That was it. No Game Boy. The other thing I, I, that forever I'll, I'll remember I was never allowed to have, I never got pumps. I never got them. Oh, oh. Pumps were pretty cool. You missed out. Had fucking pumps. I had a dope and ass he's, pair of pumps. You did? I was oh, yeah. a much better basketball did player with my pumps. Did they squeeze your feet? Yeah, you had a little <laughs> thing. You could pump it, and then you had a little Like a nice out. hug for your feet. Yeah, see, and this is literally... What would happen? Like when you, they would find out you didn't have pumps, literally people would come up to you and just be like, "Hey." <laughs> <laughs> yep. And that sucks to be you. Sound yeah. when they release the air. That's oh, that not. Great. Yeah, that's not tubular. And then, <laughs> and then like. Two years after pumps, my mom bought me like knockoff pumps. Oh, and what were they called? Like they were, I don't even. Remember, they, no, they were just like they were like it was like it was like it was like shitty shoes with an air chamber. And I was like, okay, and I squeezed the thing, and it and it popped, and that was it. And I was just like, all right, <laughs> done. 
Lumps, yes. Yeah, they lumps, were yeah. It was, it was just two shoeboxes my mom gave me. <laughs> <laughs> like a tube sticking out of the side. She's like, here's your pumps. You and like an shit. air canister. <laughs> my mom's a lovely woman. I, <laughs> she would never. She just didn't buy me pumps or a Game Boy. And it sucked. What a horrible Well, because actually you lent me your Pokemon on the, the Switch. Yeah, because but, as an adult with money, I went and bought a fucking Switch. And I was like, I'm going to play everything mobile. I know. You, know, you never played the Pokemon Red and Blues and stuff I like that. I never played any of those. Well, no, in fact, uh, uh, my girlfriend and I were playing through the, the Switch Pokemon, Pokemon Go. Poke, whatever. Pikachu Go? Whatever it is. The Pokemon for... Uh, Mobile? Switch. Adults. Oh, no, no, yeah. No, the Switch oh, version, gotcha, which gotcha. is basically like Go, but for a console. And she was like, oh, man, this is great. This is just like this. And don't you remember? And I was like, I never played it. Don't you remember? <laughs> Game Boy. She was like, you fucking nerd. <laughs> I'm leaving. So I, you, do any of you know the premise of Girl Talk? That's what I'm thinking about. What girl kind talk? of girl talk? Oh, you mean like the you? rapper? I mean the no. what kind of girl talk so, girl well, are you? Well, talking in a bathroom? When you guys were talking about your nonsense, I was thinking <laughs> about how, I don't know if this is an 80s or 90s board game. That was a 90s thing. We had, so now, looking back, super, super problematic, but the whole point was to figure out which boy liked you. And there was an actual phone so you would like get clues and there would be a number thanks to yep. there would be a number you would call to like get clues about who liked you and it was like there must have been a little like computer in the it's kind of like shit I played that kind of like mystery <laughs> day I was about to say wasn't that mystery day yeah, where you'd be like she'd make you play yeah. where it would literally be like you know you'd be like okay like your crush might be at the pizza place so yeah. you'd like call Devin who knew your crush and it'd be like <laughs> it was like a fake phone yeah and he'd yeah. be like I'm not your crush but your crush is at the movie but it and sounded then like, like it was like I remember this now it was like crush. it was like all oh, fucked up <laughs> <laughs> it did because it was like a shitty recording in like a plastic. No, it would be like, like I like I'm how you're like crush. I'm not your crush, Clarice. Like, you know, like, <laughs> I like Clarice. normal boy. I am not your boy's voice. It's a normal boy's voice. Uh, did you I'm ever play Pretty Pretty Princess? <laughs> Sean, was, did you play Pretty yeah, Pretty Princess? Did you? That yeah. was another game. There is a photo of me <laughs> in full makeup and princess outfit because my <laughs> sisters, I had two younger sisters and they'd be like, we're playing this now! And we'll put that up on the website. We will. We'll add that yes. to, I will add yes. that to the podcast. Princess I'm not ashamed. With Sean I made a beautiful princess. Yes. So. Beautiful boy. Dude, it's modern times. I can say I made a beautiful princess. I don't know, dude. You're fine with it. <laughs> um, Good. I've seen a picture of you when you were young. I don't know. 2019. <laughs> no, that's true. It's true. I was a beautiful you were, yeah, young you boy. Were, listen, you're, you're, a, beautiful, a, beautiful you're a beautiful old boy now. I was a beautiful little girl. You admit it, <laughs> God damn it. All right, fine. You're beautiful. Thank don't you. touch me. Um, is there anything that we missed, guys? Yeah, is there anything that we missed? Are you afraid of the dark? Oh, shit. Are you afraid of the dark? Are you afraid of the dark? Did you watch it? Yeah, of course I did. But did it scare you? Or yeah. were you too old? No, it was, it was, the acting you were was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. I was scared. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was scary, right? You, oh, were, you were saying shit. that you got freaked out Wait, about one. I keep almost killing you. I, everybody yeah. at home, I keep almost killing Mac with his own Well, mic. no, you just keep on trying to knock out my there, teeth when you hit, like the, a weird, hit the mic stand. Uh, it's a weird level. But anyway, I know what my scariest one is, and we were going to compare it. Yeah, I, so okay, what was your scariest episode? Three? Go ahead. No, no, count of three will just be nonsense into the mic. <laughs> just garble. Why don't you go first? Uh, don't hit me with your logic right now. Um, it was the girl in the mirror episode. Yes. yes. Fucking scary. That was mine was the same. Where she writes, she walks into the room and she's like, oh, this looks good. And then she looks in the mirror and in the mirror on the wall, it's like, I'm here with you. And I was like, click, done. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know how it ends. Maybe oh, it got funny. It, you know, it, 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 <laughs> it was is, hilarious. It, yeah. was, it was actually dark as fuck because you find out that the girl in the mirror no, is know. actually the victim. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's the victim. She. This is how this girl dies, everybody. And like, why were we consuming Spoiler this? alert. I don't know. Yes, spoiler alert. <laughs> Turn your volume down. She yeah. got <laughs> yeah. locked in the room. Cut while time stamp. Pa- yeah. she, well, she got locked in that room and her parents like went away for a week and like thought she was I don't know why they she didn't starved know she, to death. She starved and she starved to death. Why didn't she just kick that window? What kind of yeah, I was about to say no windows. Realistically, she probably, it was lack of water. They probably got her first. Yeah, but also, why didn't she just kick that so window anyway, out? So she was haunted. She was terrible. It was scary as fuck. <laughs> it was scary. It was the writing on the wall. And then I also remember being really, this is earlier, but I remember being terrified of Ghostbusters the first time I saw it. I saw it at a Before very movie. Young, yeah, right? Yeah. That's not 90s, Sean. That's, yeah. that's 84, dude. Yeah, I'm I just know. saying, I saw it at a young age. <laughs> oh, so now we're just it talking about scary. everything, apparently. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just talking about shit that scared you know, me. You know what's so scary? scary. the movie Psycho. Well, like, remember remember Sean, the real Ghostbusters, though? That was a 90s show. Yes. There we go. Sean, would you yes. like a couch? There were... <laughs> 
There were a couple episodes of the real Ghostbusters that were genuinely creepy. Oh, really? Yes. I just remember the toys more than anything. Those toys were awesome. The toys were amazing. Yeah. I had. You could make Egon make any kind of face. Um, you could. And the, and the, yeah. I had, I had a, I had a Slimer fanny pack. Um, <laughs> yeah. Were you, you proud a, of it? I could tell. You oh, were, you were oh, a fanny yeah. pack. I can tell that. Yeah. <laughs> I was, but I mean, who wasn't at that particular I was about true. to say, Honestly, fanny I'm, packs were cool I'm, in the 90s. I'm totally jealous. Look, yeah, we couldn't They're afford a kids, fanny anyway. pack back then. Yeah. No. About, also, I went to Catholic school. I think they frowned like, upon fanny packs oh, there. Oh, really? Yeah, Why? Yeah. Too sexual or something? No, just <laughs> uniforms. Let's bring it back. Uh, and like, uh, it's like, I think every kid should wear one. Or <laughs> <laughs> just, none of them or everyone. No, I distinctly remembering the day that I wore my fanny pack is when they decided I needed to go to like some child psychologist at school. Cause, like, my <laughs> go parents, on. Because, no, because of like my parents' divorce or something, or something like that where I was like, I didn't need it, but like the school was being like really overly nice about it. And I just remember being like bummed out that I had this like sweet fanny pack and like I was like eight. And I like had to be in this room with like the other kids whose like parents got divorced or something. It was like you and one other kid. It was, like me and like Mason Pascal's. And he had a better shout out pack. to Mason. Yeah, shout Mason, out to Mason out there. I hope you're doing okay, you buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's doing fine. He was he's a good kid. So wait, they had mandated therapy in your no? It was like elementary school. It was school? like they wanted to be really sensitive to like kids who like might need a little extra help, so they'd like have you like. <laughs> They, it was the same with like if they thought you had like a speech issue, but it wasn't diagnosed. But it was because your parents were divorced. Yeah, yeah, it was. Well, like, I thought it was because he can't she had a read. Her parents got divorced, so they need their. <laughs> yeah, no, I thought no, it was a fanny pack. That you I thought, yeah, I thought they were like, oh, that girl's wearing a fanny pack. Let's get her <laughs> yeah. in here. Come when on. My, <laughs> I mean, maybe. <laughs> when my parents got problems. divorced, no, I just remember feeling it's not like, worth it. like like annoyed that like it was being wasted that day in like this weird <laughs> little group because I wanted to like show it off to the school, but instead I was in the special group for the afternoon. Here's the thing about the '90s. Because you brought up parents getting divorced, Divor- which divorce. Yeah, that, that reminds me of the 90s. Yeah, and this reminds me of the 90s of you. Because I remember very vividly reading about Macaulay Culkin divorcing his parents and going, fuck yeah, that kid's got it going on. <laughs> Holy shit. Here's the solution. Why didn't I come up with that? And I, I promise you, Mac... At le- I couldn't have been the only kid that definitely screamed at his parents, I'll divorce you! And my mom went, good f- My mom literally went, good fucking luck. <laughs> I, I thought it was going to turn out like the movie North. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I wish. <laughs> um, all right, guys, we should probably wrap up. You guys probably it's are time. all hungry and everything like that. It's been about an Wait, hour. Wait, do they not serve food till we shut up? I don't think so. Keep talking, keep talking, keep talking. I'm talking. feeling really bad now. How you guys, can we you make this you go guys on? need some protein in you, I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so guys, yeah, let's uh, let's uh, say uh, you know. All right, yeah. Cheers and all that. So, yeah. Thank you everybody for coming yeah. out. Thank, thank you for you. coming out to the Bunny Ears cheers podcast. To so, cheers to each other. Cheers. 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 And uh, I'll do some plugs and time out. Uh, all right, guys, it's been real here doing the Bunny Ears podcast at Saved by the Max. I'm actually gonna leave these guys exactly where they are and just take my leave. You should probably. Oh shit! Where did fuck? that go? He's pretty sneaky. Well, fuck it. He doesn't do the plugs anyway. So, uh, <laughs> thank you everybody for listening and for coming. And follow us on all of the social at Bunny Ears Web, Bunny Ears Podcast on Instagram. You can find Macaulay Culkin at Culkabania and Incredible Culk. Yeah. At whatever platforms those are on. <laughs> Toria, do you have social media to plug? No. Great. <laughs> Stu? I can't follow that. Uh, yeah, you can find me at Swab Adventure on Instagram and Lots Twitter. If you're curious about Stu, just like... I go places. Stewing around. I go lots of real places. Real quick, real quick poll. Should and I like to dress up. Should Stu, quick Stu. Should Stu yeah. ride a motorcycle in Los Angeles? Yeah, quick poll. No. Yes. No. I stay away from no. the free. Literally, everyone said no. Uh, follow Except him. For one guy who said yes. Follow him on on uh, so social media it. and just tell him no every single day that you see him on a motorcycle. Thank you Please guys for coming that, out. Actually. Give yourselves a round of applause. You've all been lovely. What does he say? Suck dicks and take pics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's no, good no. enough. No, <laughs> no. It's it's the podcast is suck dicks and send us all right it's time for voicemails goodbye (laughs) bye thank you
four, five, easy e hoax. It might sound dumb, but it's not a joke. It's eight, four, five, easy e hoax. The voice man. This is Leslie, and I just wanted to tell you you're way hotter than Devin Sawa or JTT, so, you know, just be yourself. Do you hear the people sing, singing the song of angry men? It is the music of the people who will not be slaves again. When the beating of your heart echoes the beating of your drum, there is a life about to start when tomorrow comes on your face and dribbles down your neck. <laughs> it's your boy D back. Have a good one, boys. Yo, Mac, it's me, the Chillest Geek. Love the podcast, dude. Take it easy. Find me, gag me, take me to the bunny ranch. You are freaking lumberjack!